Hi guys, I want to show you again this testimony from Hannah, which we recorded last year after her baptism. Because this is an amazing and a powerful testimony of the miraculous acting of the Holy Spirit. While during baptism and prayer she experienced a kind of mental relief, as she described it, she already had a supernatural experience with the Holy Spirit before the baptism, when the Holy Spirit came and took control over her. Then she felt that she was spinning and looking at her own life like in a mirror, which convicted her. So this is a powerful experience and therefore I want to share this amazing testimony with you again. On English, yeah, in English. <laughs> so you have experienced the, the, the baptism, but, yeah. but you have received the Holy Ghost earlier already and you have given your life to, uh, to Christ. Getting the, receiving the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Then I can say I felt something completely physical. It yeah. was uh, like a puppet and I was the hand in the puppet and then I removed my hand and almost something, a new hand came in, you know? Yeah. And um, it, was, it was that powerful when I first felt it. Yeah, I felt like it was a mental release, you know, because I, I was telling Christoph that I have kind of been struggling of completely letting go of this old, of this old body, you know, this old, um, maybe um, the attachments that I had to the guilt that I used to have. So it was kind of like, I know that I'm new in Christ, but still like, I, um, it, I still get attacked sometimes as in, um, I feel like, no, you're still this. You said you gave your life to Christ mm -hmm. last year, yeah. so a year ago. It's also. definitely been a growing process. I would yeah. say um, that I'm, I'm getting to know myself again because I had to completely let go of who I thought I was, you know, and I had to start over as if yeah. I, I didn't know who I was because I had to let go of everything that I thought I was, all of these sins and stuff, and so now I, I am left with who am I, you know? I, I'm so scared of letting this go because that's all I know, and if I let this go, then who am I going to be, you know? So it's been this journey from starting at the beginning of um, God telling me who I am and um, God telling me who He is. Yeah, because you, you look at the world in a completely different perspective, and so this new perspective sheds light on... Um, the darkness that I was living in, you know, and in the darkness you can't see the truth and can't see what you what you really want, you know, because I did want it all along. Uh, everyone wants it. Our souls all cry out for this this um, love that Jesus offers, you know. And once I received that love, it was like I have it. I'm good. Yeah. I don't need you this. Other, I don't yeah. need these drugs, or I don't need this other feel alive because yeah, I, I felt alive. You talked about it previously. You. Uh, you struggled with, with drugs before you gave your life to, to yeah, Jesus, definitely. right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And, and Jesus healed you from, from this. Oh, completely. It was, yeah. Yeah. It was yeah, a night and day experience. Yeah. Sure. After, because it was Very all fun. submission in yeah. one point, you know? Like, I, I completely gave myself away. And how, how, uh, how <laughs> did you come to this decision? It was... Um, uh, do, do you super, remember? It was yes. I, yeah. I will never forget it. Uh, okay. Yeah, it was okay. this uh, supernatural experience right. actually. Okay. Yeah. Really? So um, I was at a festival alone, and I was walking, and um, I was actually um, doing drugs at that festival previously. To us, and um, and I I was walking, and I felt. I felt this presence with me, like, it was like this mirror came up, it convicted me, yeah. I felt convicted, and I felt like, uh, it was all of a sudden, I was, I was able to look at myself, and be like, um, and confront myself with how I'd been living, you know, yeah, it really. was this moment of conviction, and all of my surroundings became one, and it was like spinning, and um, I felt like this, this uh, almost tormented, almost, and you, I. You, in this moment. Yes, yes, completely, and so, so I. So the demons yes, pulled on your. Yes, and yeah, want to pull yeah. you back into yeah. into the life that you live. Yeah, and this into is the world. Yes, and I went like this, and I I was praying to God. It was like I don't care about anything other than than you right now. This is this is. Um, I'm sorry. You know, this was a point of I am sorry. I am. Yeah. This is. You repent. You know, you know, and I know, and 
it was this it was this moment I can um, almost uh, indescribable moment and I and I prayed that you know I'm done I am done with living this way you know I'm 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 thirsting for something and the water that I'm drinking isn't quenching my thirst I need you I need something more than this and then I and then I lifted my head and all my strength but he I showed you your life right you you, you said uh, you 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 saw your life like in a mirror right. Yeah, yeah, I saw myself confronted, you know, it was like, I finally, I finally confronted myself with how I'd been living, because this whole time I've just been making excuses for myself in this way, or making my excuses um, in this way, or um, not really being true to myself. You had not a conscious... Yes, yes I, it was a breakthrough that I had, yeah, um, yeah. And, and it was totally by God's grace that... This had happened to me, and um, that he showed you your life, yeah. how you live, mm -hmm. and how it is from his perspective. Actually, exactly, right? exactly. Right. Yeah, that's exactly what it was, and um, I I felt so safe with him, and I was I was able to be honest with myself in this moment, and yeah. um, not let my pride get in the way, or you know, completely yeah. just um, humble myself, you know. Yeah. And you did this, then. Yeah. And, th and this was last year? Yeah, it was just last March, so yeah, a little over a year ago. I'll, yeah, it was a moment that I'll never And then you gave, you gave your life to, to Jesus, and instantly <laughs> you, you don't have anything, uh, any addiction with drugs or something. No. It's, it's a way, right? Yeah, it's just so, um, you are why would I want this anymore? You, you don't know? want it this, was, yeah, yeah, it has it changed was, you. Yeah, yeah, completely. And today it's, it's a baptism. Yeah, so it's something it was spiritual. Mental, it was this more um, of a mental breakthrough for me because it was. Sometimes I um, I was struggling with just completely believing that I am this new person, right? Because I feel like this new person, but do I really believe it all the time? Because I'm not perfect. I'm definitely not perfect. We we are and not. We are still not perfect. Yeah, but exactly. we are. But we have now the grace. Right. So we can can go to Jesus again and and say. Uh, and, and, and repent. Mm -hmm. he, he wants us to repent every day. Mm -hmm. So, but but we are not we are not uh, sinning willfully. Right. So we, because we are free from this, it's gone. Mm -hmm. And you have you have experiences in the baptism, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. See, I, so you feel light. You feel light. I feel light, light, light. Yeah. light. But it's. Mm -hmm. It was really nice to see this. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I'm glad that I could share this amazing experience with you. And I hope that it will edify and inspire you. Seeking a personal relationship with God. Since this is what he wants us to do. He doesn't want us to sit in the church and repeat standard prayers. But to pray to him personally. Humble yourself in front of the Holy Father. Repent of your sins. Turn away from your carnal desires and accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. To walk with Jesus is an exciting journey and it is the only salvation. There is no one time saved, forever saved. He wants us to seek him all time of our life, not only sometimes when we have a hard time, as we are not supposed to be part-time Christians. Seek him and you shall find him. Ask and it shall be given to you. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. God bless you.